right, what's going on, guys? A um, little weird here. Uh, unfortunately, the intro to this video didn't have any audio. Uh, it's becoming uh, all too familiar occurrence with my cameras. I don't really know what to do. I've got the latest and greatest, always updated. <sighs> New SD cards all the time, always formatted. True GoPro accessories, blah, 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 blah. And here we are. So uh, you can see we are tearing apart the MH7. Uh, it's not broke. Uh, it's just time for a refresh. Uh, we put 30 passes on it between uh, the first five MPK races plus testing. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, I keep an eye on the valve train every pass. I take it apart before every race, inspect, uh, you know, rocker arms, uh, adjusters, push rods, valve springs, get pressure check uh, every pass or every two passes. Uh, everything's been good. Uh, we actually had um, at the last race in, we're up northeast, New England, uh, we had an issue uh, where the car was shutting off and in one pass it actually shut the secondary injectors off and things got a little warm so we uh, we pulled the oil pan after that pass uh, changed all the rod bearings uh, some of them were starting to get a little mashed so it was a good thing we uh, we pulled it apart and changed them out but um, all the others look good so uh, keep a pretty close eye on the oil check the oil pressure every pass um, you know the oil gets changed every six seven eight passes check the filter filter's been looking good so uh the motor the motor's fine we're we're not uh we're not tearing it apart because it's broke we're tearing it apart because it's just our regularly scheduled maintenance so uh 30 passes everything looks good um so you're gonna watch us here pull all eight pistons out and then slide eight new pistons in uh we you know you'll you'll be able to see what kind of troubles we may have had along the way uh, it was our first time doing it by ourselves uh, we've put together small box chevys and i put together a lot of ls's myself um the the hemi that we're running here obviously is a whole different animal than that so you know we may have struggled a little bit but not too bad um the reason for this is uh, tearing it apart at 30 passes or, you know, we're actually probably going to run 35 uh, now that we know that everything looks good at 30. But um, to change this rack of pistons out while everything is good, nothing's broke. All we're doing is putting new pistons, rods and rings in this deal and bearings. That's about the rack of pistons and rods and uh, uh piston rings is like three thousand thirty five hundred dollars whereas if we go ahead and just run this thing till it breaks um whenever we used to break the small block like that it was ten to fifteen thousand minimum by the time they repair the block uh usually when you when we were you know when we would break a rod it would also break the crank so we'd have to order a new crank uh, you know, all the pistons and everything else that goes along with it. You know, hopefully you didn't break your cam whenever the rod broke, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, you're talking three to 5,000 for a refresh or 10 to 15 or even 20,000 if you go ahead and break it before you change them out. It's, it's cheaper to change them than it is to let them change themselves. So just to uh, shorten it up a little bit there for you. Um, uh, I apologize for the audio here. I don't know why it's doing this and that you're having to listen to me instead of Sean tell the story here. Um, but it is what it is. Hopefully you still enjoy the video. Uh, once we get to the end, uh, the audio came back. I don't know why it's the same camera. But anyways, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, share the channel with your buddies. Get them to subscribe. Like the video. Comment. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. And uh, we hope you enjoy watching us fumble through freshening up a uh, Proline MH7 Hemi.
That wasn't bad. Shit. Not bad at all. Wasn't good. No big deal. Uh-huh. Uh, all eight pistons are in. All eight rod caps are torqued, I think. Yeah. No, everything's good there. The oil pan's back on it. Uh, we're sliding the heads back on it now. Um, Look at that gun down there. Head studs. These are some, some big boys. This one is not. That one's not. That one's like the size that was on the small block. I'm not real sure what this guy's doing. But. He's just in there for a good time. Yeah, no, it wasn't the coolest, you know. I just don't like the... The top ring that they use is tough, you know, and it's sharp. My fingers are all cut up. Yes. Uh, and getting them to compress to get in, you know, it sucks. It wasn't fun. Now, my fingers are all, the tips of my fingers are all cut up and I'm just... <sighs> yep. Just digging some maximum 50 weight in there with some high pressure lube. I want to see these boys try to torque one of these. <clears throat> I've made it torque before. Yeah? Yeah, uh, Aiden's truck. Yeah. It's terrible. 120? What? Yeah, 120. Yeah, 120. You know what these are? What? 250. 250? <laughs> give, me, uh, give me something to, to run these down with, guys. Three people standing around. Yeah. It's, it's the 11 six, or I'm sorry, the three quarter. I can't get it. It should be my, out here. We we took them off. With my cut up fingers. It's right here. But I need it on something that is not this gun. That's it. Thirteen sixteenths. That's what that is. Mmm, that's a good one. There's a shard or something. There's that's not even the cut's not even what I'm talking about. No. Oh. Remember that cut on your hand? I that do. shard does. Yeah, and so does uh, the card planer over there. The Brake clean, whatever it is. You know, same. Same thing. Same difference. <laughs> All right, give me that gun. Give me that big dog. What are you handing me there, Dalton? I left those guns too. What? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, now we torque. Give me a torque wrench. The big dog. Yeah, give me the big dog, man. All right. Where are we at, Phantom? Upper row, 50 foot pounds. The upper row? And then the second row upper is... Upper row is what? 250? 50. Oh, first, first go round is 50? Yes. All right. So what's the pattern? Uh... Huh? Right. Just like a small block Chevy. Work your, work your way inside out. Oh, I'm good with that. We just guess them? I no, no, no. A, no, that's what it is. I thought they had a... Uh, What'd you say it was? 50? Yeah, go 50. Okay. And then bottom row, 50. Give me... Nope. One that size one, smaller. That one's loose. That's it. Nope. Bottom is good. Two, 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 or two, three, five. Mm. 
Okay, and now upper row. Okay. Upper row 220. You go from 60 to 220? 50 to 220, yes. Cray, cray. Okay, now upper row 220 again. 220 again? Yes. Second row is 150. That's gonna feel like nothing. Yeah. 150 and then done? Uh, and then 150 again, and then done. Could have skipped that arm workout this morning. I'm not gonna be asking if we got air conditioner in here today. No, we? no, you're not wearing your beanie and you've got a good sweat going, or your your skull cap or or whatever they called it. Yeah. Skull cap. <laughs> <laughs> and now 150 again on all of them on the bottoms.
like that on all of them? Yep, and then the small corners are 50. We got the, uh, the torque wrench? Uh, stands those go to 70 If you want take that brush and put you a brush mark on all those what was the first motor you ever put together 454 for my dad's car yeah, yeah one of the 55s had, or no he had a uh, I mean I watched him build a lot of motors before that, but I think that was my first one was yeah. that I actually helped him with. And it was just a, uh, it was a 454 that he had in like a 62 Nova. Oh, okay. That's good. Not like good, but that's good. You know? Oh, Dalton there Ross go. over oh, here. I know. <laughs> over here. Painting a little Painting happy clouds, trees. Painting <laughs> Here, Aiden, whatever size this is, get it for me on the gun. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a half inch or a 7 16th. It. All the little ones? Yeah, we got it out, Aiden. There's a 7 16th there. I think it's half inch, though. I think it's a 7 16th. half inch. It might be a half inch. It's out here somewhere. I just had a gun. Here. I got two that was the one, that was the one you forgot to take off too yeah and and this one oh <laughs> huh oh nice. nice the whole middle row the whole middle row didn't need them Uh, 916th What are these torque to? 70. Shoo! Find me a 916th. Like bugs are crawling down me, but it's, oh, it's sweat. Man. Sweat running. 70, you said? 70. About 69. Nah. So nice. in those rockers, when you test them, do you just make sure they're smooth? 
Yeah. And there's no. Uh, yeah. You, so so when we check these, uh, you know, you'll roll the roller, and make sure it doesn't drag right. anywhere, right. and then also, you know, the rocker, you, you make make sure it slides in and in in and out easy, and then also check it for, you know, like up and down play. Right. These all should be pretty good. Yeah, they are. Right. Yeah. Put it on my gun. Hit the, these four. It's five eighths. Oh, yeah. I was wrong? Damn. Hardly ever happens. Oh. That'll fit in if he has a big button. That's probably what I took it off with. Uh huh. Ooh. Missed that one, didn't I? Man, sweating like Richie over here. Yeah. I don't ever sweat this bad. Hey, this is why we can't ever find tools. See that? Hey, and then there's another one right there. Push rods, then rockers. Push yeah. rods and then rockers, yes. Yep. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case you're a total dipshit. Oh, hey, I like having stuff labeled like that. <laughs> you know why? Because sometimes I'm a total dipshit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's just for you know. Yeah, that's just for show. Yeah. It's all for show so that people think I know what I'm doing. Yep. Make you look more distinguished. Yep. We look at these already? Yep. Already good to go on them? Yep. Uh, that's never a bad idea. Yes, oh, so this. actually. What? That loom right there? Um, that, this'll what? work. Okay. Oh, what do you want to use? Uh, I'll use whatever. Usually, I, I usually use motor oil. I'm going to start using the Molly stuff though when we get rid of the oil pump or the primer. Yeah. Is 
this grill's gonna smoke her ass off when it first fires up with all the the oil we put in the, the cylinders and shit. Yep. Which is fine. It'll good clear up as soon as I put it on a brake though. Good with it. Just a little bump. Give her a little bump, you know, just a little taste. Yeah. Have you ever measured how much force this thing puts off? What, like, just... The zoomies? Yeah, it's a lot. So if basically, if uh, one cylinder's down, it'll throw the car off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like a top fuel car. Right. We found that that was even a thing on a turbo car, though, too. So we tried to go out without our bullhorn, and it made the car drive left or right. <sighs> People didn't believe it. No. But it does. All right, first fire up. Let's see, if, let's see if we fucked up or if we did okay. Yeah, 
know when your foot hit the fucking floor. Yeah. And it was and it still went up like this. Yeah. So it's not it's not happening. It just, you know. I think just a little bit of him being there, everything will be okay. Oh for sure. For sure. Just now that everything's right, <laughs> everything needs to be right. Sounds good though, right? Didn't smoke at all. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, no, I was told we never lost smoke. Like, I put enough fucking shit on them rings that I figured it would. Yeah. Let's just kind of clean this up. Uh, let's take the saran wrap, wrap these up just like y'all did them wheels. And then uh, let's not wrap this up with it. Nope. And then uh, clean this stuff up and y'all can roll. So this is our first set of pistons out of the M87. Everything looks good. None of them are sunken in. You know, we've sunken a few pistons in before. We've broke a few pistons. We've broke some rods. All these were still good. So uh, first fire up there. I mean, it sounds good. Didn't smoke, oil pressure was good. I think uh, I think we're ready for Tulsa. What do you think? Oh, no, we are not. We gotta fix the fuel oh, yeah, cell. Oh yeah, gotta so pull the fuel cell out nice. of it and uh, weld her on up a little this bit. Bad boy leaks a little bit. Weld her up. Yep. Yep, so that's that. That's our first service of the MH7. Uh, doesn't appear that we messed it up too bad. We will know in the first burnout, I guess. So, uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching us fumble around uh, putting pistons in and and cylinder heads back on and off and, and all of that good stuff. So, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Uh, share the channels with your buddies. Uh, help us grow this deal a little bit more. And, uh, and we're going to film more shit. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, We've just been overwhelmed a little bit. We're trying to focus on this thing as much as we possibly can. We, uh, man, we're, you never know. Like, we said we're going all in this season. Yep, we're there. We have, <laughs> we've went all in. Yep. We've done everything that we can possibly do, man. If the wind don't come, I'm just gonna cry myself to sleep every night, you know? Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna be from trying. It's not gonna be a lack of effort. It's not gonna be a lack of, of putting in the time. Uh, it's not gonna be a lack of putting in the money because we've done it. Yeah. Uh, and to be honest with you, I, I'm not sure if we have the money or the funds or the resources to do it again. So that's why we said we're going we're going all out this year. We're gonna do what we can and we're gonna see how the chips fall, you know? And, they're, they haven't fell our way yet. They are, they are crumbling the opposite direction, apparently. Yeah. I but, think we're uh, going to be all right. We got a fast car, but like we've said a million times, so does everybody else. Yep. So yep, that we're just going to keep on putting in the work uh, like we know how to do. And, uh, you know, the, the round wins will come. We've already done better this season than what we've done in the past two. And we're, we're, we're inching and inching up. So uh, now instead of worrying about getting past the, the first round we gotta get we gotta get past the second yep. round yep baby so, steps ba baby steps uh it's about time to be over the baby steps and let's just go full force into it yeah and, and see what happens yep. uh, the the, the season isn't even a third of the way over yet so it's you know yeah we're behind but a lot of people are behind yeah like a lot of people are so well we uh We've got the hot rod now that we've got it rewired and it's not shutting off and we can go up there and we can do burnouts we can test we can do you know what we can we're, we're going to get the right tune and we're going to go rounds 